Tonight, join Ed Cavalier, Josh Lawson, Mick Malloy, Celia Vacola, and Sam Pang as we test their knowledge of the week's events on Have You Been Paying Attention? And now, here's your host, Tom Geisler. Monday, the 22nd of September. Tomorrow is, of course, the spring equinox, marking that moment we get exactly 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of Big Brother. So it's a special day for all the world. OK, a lot of news to get through this week, and what a team we've got in to help with the task. In lane one, Triple M Brisbane breakfast host, Mr Ed Cavalier. Hi, Tom. How are you? From the Toronto International Film Festival, writer, director, and actor oh, wow. Josh Lawson. Triple oh, <laughs> Melbourne breakfast host and series oh. regular, Mr. Mick Malloy. Can you get a new photo of me for the opening credits? We can update your photo oh, later. That's a photo fit from about 1988. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll trawl into the library, Mickey. Direct from a sellout season at Ooh. the Edinburgh Comedy Festival, the right. ever so slightly jet lagged <laughs> Celia Pacola. <laughs> whose knowledge of weekly events could best be described as non-existent. Our perennial last place getter, Mr Sam Hay. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. You've, hey, you've just flown in from the UK? Yes, I am slightly on the jet lag side. I flew in uh, tomorrow. Oh, and, okay. Uh, so, uh, Josh, great to have you back great with to us be back. as well. Congratulations to the new film, The yeah. Little Death, is out mm. next... next uh, this Thursday this coming, Thursday. yeah. So opening around the country this Thursday, you... You really don't want to miss it because um, otherwise, because, well, because otherwise I don't make any money. So oh, that's <laughs> right. You do have to see it. Although I'm not sure about the shot you used in your press kit. I'm not sure. It, uh, um, is that from the film or just the audition process? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like she's having a good time. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what women always look like when you have yeah, sex. Right. Right. Yeah, I think we're straight into an extremely dark alley. Yeah, Why don't we reverse ever so slightly? Put your hands on your buzzers, oh. and we will get this quiz underway. <laughs> Thousands of Australians marched yesterday demanding direct action on what? Mm. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, the yeah, environment. Uh, yeah, climate change. I yeah, think we'll pay awesome. that one, Ed. <laughs> Thursday <laughs> saw huge anti-terrorism raids across oh. Sydney and Brisbane. What was the name of the operation? <laughs> Mickey. Operation Distract from the Budget. I think that... Uh, <laughs> a working title, Mickey. <laughs> oh, a working title, Sam. Operation Appleby. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Payne. As we speak, Sam Payne is in the lead. This is... We've got wow. a few more questions to go. 870 police raided 27 properties. How many people have been charged? Mick. Just me, Tommy. <laughs> you had that coming. It's more than one. Uh, Josh. Oh, it's more than one. Uh, two. Well done, Josh. On the board. Uh, that is just flat out cheating. That is cheating. I was going to say zero until he said it's more than one. And they're here tonight. Hi, guys. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> well done, Josh. We'll pay that. Just right. a reminder if you have any concerns about unusual or suspicious activity, this is the National Security Hotline. Good. And if you'd like to be in the audience of Family Feud, this is the Family Feud Hotline. So, <laughs> your call, Don't ladies and gentlemen. Confused. Do not get those Don't two get confused, confused, please. Wow. This gentleman in Perth was pretty excited after getting the first iPhone 6. What happened next? Sam. The battery went dead. <laughs> Before even that could happen. Uh, Ed. He, he dropped it, Tom. It was devastating news. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. That's OK. There's nothing wrong with an iPhone 5. He'll yeah. enjoy that. <laughs> Tell me what is going on here. Ed. Just warning people, Tony Abbott's around. Please. He's deaf in his right ear. Okay. <laughs> it's, in, uh, it's, it's, Mickey. it's to do with an education, trying to get kids to go to school in uh, Arnhem Land. A walking school bus. Thank you. Bus. Oh, Mick oh, yeah. is on the board. What were pandas Wang Wang oh, and Fooney man. given 36 Finally. hours to do this week? Finally. Oh. Josh. Yeah. Find their way out of an Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey. Do the bizzo, Tommy. Yeah. Get, get yeah. the job done. Throw the leg over. That's That's the right. <laughs> 36 hour window. Yes. What yeah, happens in the 36 hour? What happens after 36 hours? She's only on hand for 36 hours. Oh, it's a clock's ticking. Yeah, no, That's yeah, on for foreplay. Bang. <laughs> 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 
What do they do? They have sex once a year. So pandas year? have sex once a year. But they must be married. Okay. <laughs> Nick, yeah. give you the points, Sam. Looks like Josh's promotional uh, post. <laughs> <laughs> there are similarities. Wait, wait. With a little if dip. you were a panda, would you be Pang Pang? <laughs> oh, that's that's a great question. That's a great question. That's a great question. Round of applause. That's a great question. Great question. Yes. It, would, it would double his window for sex. <laughs> What product did they give Wang Wang to help with the process, Mickey? Uh, a Barry White CD, I think. That's in fact, Josh. It should be obvious, Tommy. A zoo magazine. Yeah, that's <laughs> tell you the answer. They gave uh, the Wang Wang uh, essential oils, was apparently. Oh, 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 yeah. oh that's crazy. He's passed out. That's <laughs> what are these people lining up for? Josh. Oh, God, this has been embarrassing. Oh, Tickets to, to the little, this little this Death, which opens uh, oh, around yeah. the country <laughs> <laughs> this Thursday. Yeah. It's not, well, not, you know, not film related. It's not it. far away, because yeah. I think it's an Ebola vaccine, which is similar. to. <laughs> <laughs> In the zone, Sam. Judging by the uh, age of some of the women, one of Mick's stand up gigs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's everyone's. Mick, you don't have to take that from him. Mick, you do not. You are a legend of the when industry. The... You do not have to take that from him. Where did that come from? Honestly, what is wrong with That's you? That's horrible. Hey, I just, just thought of it then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what those people are lining up for the Fijian election. While we're on the topic of the Fijian election, I'll show you the name, you tell me how to say it. We'll start with Fijian military chief, Brigadier... Yeah. Oh, Celia, let's I hear it. Seals. Forwards or backwards? I can do it. Uh, forwards. <laughs> Moses. Tiki Tonga. <laughs> let's have a listen. General Mosesi Tingoi Tonga. Mosesi Tingoi so I'm sorry. All right, have a crack at opposition leader in Fiji. Yeah. Josh. Easy. I'm just I'm gonna go spur of the moment. Not even gonna look. look. Yep. Here it is. Flash. Rota Mama Kappa. <laughs> Let's have a listen. Rota Mumu Kappa. Probably that's quite tough. I've got to say, pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Give it to Take that, Josh. Give me the points. Yeah. See, you are the thinker, Seals. Go with the thinker. Just go with it. What sorry. other? Neighbour held general elections this week. Let me get it. I've got the points. It was in New Zealand. Give Come it on, Ed. Seal your Thank you. Seal. Oh, well done. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. you tell me. Yeah. Little tip bars first, hand up second. Yeah, that was <laughs> <it. laughs> Men complain. Men yeah. complain. All right. Uh, Prime Minister John Key was returned for his third term, so you'd think by now Australians would know who he is. No, I have no idea. No. 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 Negative. No idea. Wouldn't have a clue. Possibly he used something to do in New Zealand. I've heard oh. him on the news. Um, Politician. No. John Keys. John who? He is the Prime Minister. Minister of New Zealand. He is the gentleman that's selling off all our assets. Hi, John. Uh, he's a bit of a dick. <laughs> There's his title. All right, tell me, why are these people so angry? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Celia. It's the riots after the Scottish referendum. Mm. Well, I don't know if they're technically riots, but people just went mad. They weren't it. happy. That's the no side. Yeah. Well, the Pretty night good. before, Scotland held a television debate that shed light on the big issues. <laughs> Yeah, you can see why it failed, yeah, can't you? Just, just saying what we're all thinking. Exactly right. All right, what would have happened to our flag if Scotland had become independent? Sam. Nothing. Yes, you're correct. The flag can only be hey, changed by popular vote. Maybe don't laugh after everything I say. <laughs> I've got some genuine answers Sam. that I really... Sam, you are correct. What international event did Cairns play host to this weekend? Mick? It was... I, I know Cairns, I think it, it was a meeting of the G20 Finance Committee yes, or a kind of international wet T-shirt competition. <laughs> Mickey, I'll take your, what they do. I'll yeah, take yeah, your yeah, first yeah, answer, yeah. G20 yeah. Finance yeah. Ministers. Why is Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko so happy? Sam. Ukraine and the EU have signed an agreement. Thank you, Sam. Indeed. Tom, we're going to have to throw this lot out and get a new audience in. This is, <laughs> this is going to continue. Where would you be asked to pay $525 for a meal? Celia. The airport. Yes. The airport. Yes. 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 But uh, more high end. Sam. The footy. OK. <laughs> get them out. Josh. Uh, the Fat Duck. Heston Blumenthal's restaurant. Fat yeah. Duck charges. How much? 
525. Is it all you can eat? No, no, that's the entree. That's oh, the, my God. Hey, that's don't, the, don't fill up on the bread. Yes. <laughs> we have to take a break. When we return, it's showbiz celebrities. Contestants can remember, which is a reasonable amount so far. Sam, how are you feeling about the show? I'm feeling great. Were you here for <laughs> segment one? Yes, yeah. there were some <laughs> big answers. I, uh, I look around. Celia's been away. Mm -hmm. Ed's preparing for a wedding. That's Josh, true. if there's, unless there's questions about you know Hollywood and doing lines of coke, mm -hmm. yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah. By the way, <laughs> and Mick's probably drunk. So I'm feeling. <laughs> So yeah. It's the perfect storm for you. <laughs> well, let's see whether you can make that count on the scoreboard. Tell me, what are we looking at here? Josh. Yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, China. It's in China and it's a new sort of cell phone free footpath. Well, a phone to a lane where you use mobile oh, phones. Oh, yeah. oh, By the way, see. you are right in the country. I thought it was directions well, one, the... to the factory so the kids know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at here? Oh, it. In Germany, that's a hybrid. Yes. <laughs> well, it's German related, Josh. Well, I'd say without helmets, Tommy, a bunch of lawbreakers. Thank they you. Are oh, oh, possibly. In fact, it's a human powered beer bike. Yep. Oh. And, which is uh, my new mode of transport. Yeah, would be <laughs> lovely, Mickey. Every now and then you see an ad and you think, I've got no idea what that is yeah. all about. I want you to look at this ad and buzz in if you can work out what the heck it's for. At the heart of our world is you. It's why our commitment to be the best. Oh, Josh has gone early. Going Josh. On. LSD? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be. Mickey. Like a classy sizzler. It's, um... <laughs> no, you know it. What is it? Ed. Is it travel airline? It's going to be an airline. I'm going to pay that. Let's take a look. Excellence. Yeah. Ah. It's Air. Ed Korean gets the yep. points. OK, <laughs> enough news of normal people. Oh, it's goodness. time to step into the yes. rarefied world of yes. celebrities gone wrong. Hello. Yes, it's time for... Ah. Before we start, this is quite a big moment, Joshua. Is, Something, yeah, Mickey. A, a reunion. Of is sorts. this a big moment for you? Because our first role in a film ever yeah. was together, and it was in your film Boy Town. Do you remember? Do you remember? Yeah. Not really, no. <laughs> do you remember our characters' names? Yes, I do. What were they? Cagney and Lacey. No. <laughs> I don't remember either. I don't remember either. But I know that you made us do that scene that we saw from Josh's film earlier. <laughs> All right. Let's dive into a bit of show business. Tell me, who is wearing this shirt? Josh. Someone who doesn't know how to tweet. Take it to the streets. A bit old school. Yeah. It's in fact. I'm going to read it. It's um. If it's a look, quote. It's well, Jennifer Lawrence is wearing that. Uh, Where is the quote from? <laughs> Mickey. Raoul Dahl. Mick it? Malloy yeah, has Mick the points. Malloy. Well done. Really? Barbara Streisand appeared where for the first time in nearly 50 years. Mick. The Ghost Train. Tommy. <laughs> That's a good track. Oh, in the kids. No, this is exciting for Barbara fans. I don't know. We've got a future, Sam. Late night television. Indeed, she sure sang it. on G Jimmy Fallon. Take a look. No. No need to hear her sing. No, we can move on from God. there. We get the. We get the <laughs> she was there. That's Amazing. the point. Who is leaving our TV screens after 28 years? It. Margaret and David from At the Movies. Indeed. Is it a coincidence that it's straight after the release of Josh's film? <laughs> <laughs> That's they right. can't handle it. It's an intense film. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> David and Margaret at the movies ends at the end of this year. Right. What was found buried at the block site this week? It. It's a giant a tanker full of diesel fuel. Petrol tank mm. buried Could it explode? Let's hope so. <laughs> the new series of Beauty and the Geek will be set in what exotic location? Oh. Yeah. Adelaide. OK. Oh. <laughs> it's not a guess, but a little further afield. It's overseas. They're going up no, there. This one. America, Las Vegas. Indeed. Oh. Two new housemates entered the Big Brother house on Tuesday. What was special about them? Josh. Uh, they can read. OK. <laughs> into the special room. Yeah, Sam. It was those two pandas. <laughs> you have inched your way very close yeah. to a correct answer, but I can't pay that. Up. Mick. A couple of dogs. Two poodles named Ned and Kelly. No! Yes, oh. Mick will pay that. Jesus. All right, here's a phrase I know we've all been hanging out for. Yes, it's bachelor, bachelor time. <laughs> I hope you've all been paying close we attention oh, yeah. to I our have. flagship series. Who scored the single date 
this week. Oh. It was one of the girls. Thank Tommy. you. Go I'm leading. Sam? Sam? It was yeah, Sam. Crazy Sam. Oh, well done, mate. <laughs> Sam is there. During the date, they attempted to dance. What went wrong? Josh. OK, well, they put their left foot in. They put their left foot out. <laughs> Here's where they, they forgot yeah. to shake it all shake about. It all about. Yeah. Yeah. That was a moment. Ed. They went to have a romantic dance and then she had a mint because she was going to tongue on later and it fell down. <laughs> it fell down the front of her dress. Oh, Absolutely. Sure. Ed was watching The Bachelor. Yeah. Well, well done. done. Mate, well, I watch he... The Bachelor because I'm taking notes because I'm going to be him next series. <laughs> She doesn't know that yet. <laughs> After the date, Blake had this to say. It was raw, it was natural, and it was open. What's he talking about? Oh, Celia. A pistachio. <laughs> it's so it was raw. Been it was natural, natural and, it, and was it was open. open. Yeah. The best way for a pistachio to be. But uh, <laughs> he worked he worked <laughs> bait. Uh, anyone will follow this one, Sam? It was his fly, Tommy. <laughs> Better. It was nut based, so. <laughs> <laughs> She admitted, she admitted her feelings. She no, was, she knows a bit she more banal than she that, I'm sorry. Did. Sam's reaction to getting some fancy jewellery was oh, more true. open and But she could only borrow it, she had to give it back. That's the one. Yeah. Jess and Blake don't need to speak to each other, apparently. Instead... We tend to do a lot of communicating with our eyes. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. <laughs> we can all do it. Yes. Lorena yes. was devastated after Blake touched what? Josh. Yeah, well, her nose. Because she just, look at it, it's brand new. <laughs> Hands off That's the merchandise. Okay. No, but it was a body part, Sam. It. Sorry, I'm communicating with my <laughs> eyes today. <laughs> Why don't we take a look? And I'm a big believer in body language. Yeah. And he touched his eye. Oh. Apparently or... that's a sign of disinterest or... Shut Damn. Up. Yeah. Shut Who up. did Blake send home on Wednesday? Ed. Yes, Lorena. Got that. Uh, Lorena's exit was sad, but I think it ended the way we all would have liked. Love is an ongoing, evolving thing. It changes every day how you have to approach it. And sometimes you have to play your cards right in order to... We've got to take Thank a quick break to stick around. We want to score the race. We're back to watch how you've been paying attention. Time now for a little individual examination. The segment is one on one. And Sam, we'll start with you. Who of these has not led a coup in Fiji? Sitaveni Rambuka, Mahendra Chowdhury, George Spate, Frank Baini Marana. Leading a coup is part of military training over there. Yeah, it is. It's How much did the audience have led one? Um, Spate has. Banana Rama has. <laughs> it's Chaundry. Banana Rama. Indeed, he was uh, Prime Minister ousted in the question. Yeah. All right, Nick. Very good. Which of these phrases has Joe Hockey not used to describe wind farms? Utterly offensive, a blight on the landscape. Quite appalling, a real eyesore, hugely important. Ooh. Like my reviews. Got <laughs> 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 all of those at some stage. <laughs> well, Joe has said all those things about wind farms except uh -huh. one. I just got to go with the obvious one a blight on the landscape because, you know, everything else, he's gone a long way to, like, stick it in. And anyone can just pull off a blight on the landscape, so that's the one I'm going with. I'm afraid it's a real eyesore. Oh. Get stuffed, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> Get stuffed. I consider myself yeah. stuffed. Ed. Hi, Tom. Which of these was not a party in the New Zealand elections? Oh, God. The New Zealand National Party? National Party, yeah. Oteroa Legalised Cannabis Party? Yep. One Law for All? Yep. Shooters and Fishers Party? Yep. Ban 10. The key here is to say it in a poor New Zealand accent. Yeah, so let's go. New Zealand National Party. So that sounds right. Sounds good. HRO, a legalised cannabis party. Mm, yeah, sounds good. that sounds about right. One lawful. Oh, that's like a, a bad number plate. So that's probably. Uh, shooters and fishers in in 1080. Uh, I'm going to go with. That didn't help you at all, did it? No, it just. No, it's in it. I'm going to go with. 
shooters and fishers, because I reckon it'd be shooters and fishers and farmers. Ed, you're absolutely correct. Yes. Well done, shooters and fishers. All right. I know what they like. Celia, you no. were over there. You oh. were over there. Who of these people did oh. not support Scottish independence? Annie Lennox, oh. Susan Boyle, The Proclaimers, Billy Bragg, okay. Sean Connery. Did not. Sean Connery did. He totally voted yes. Well, he voted yes. Okay. <laughs> you realise no. you will now have to do an impersonation yeah, of the please. other four. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. Thank who, you. <laughs> who's, who oh, did okay, not so support? He was yes, I feel like uh, Susan Boyle. I think was no. Shocking, because you think she's going to be yes, who's the singer, but I think she said no. Celia, you are absolutely correct. Well done. Oh, yeah. Josh. Yep. Yep. Only one of these people supported Scottish independence. Who was it? Ewan McGregor, Rod Stewart, David Beckham, Gerard Butler, J.K. Rowling. Uh, you, you know this, don't you, Sales? Yeah. Can you look, look at look, just look at me? Don't tell me Bachelor the answer. Am I gonna, but, uh, just, I'm going to And I'm going to say, the, I'm going to say, yeah, yeah. Just I'm going to do a bit of uh, neurolinguistic programming here. I'm going to get you, McGregor, Rod, Rod Stewart, David Beckham, Gerard Butler. Jacob. I was lying. I don't know who it oh. is. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be lying, Josh? I'm sorry. So, <laughs> I know who it's not. It's not J.K. Rowling. Okay, is that true? Yeah. All right. Oh, what say. is going on? David Beckham. David Beckham. David Beckham. Lost control. Oh, oh, take charge. Take charge. Lost Tom. control at the introduction. David Beckham. Gerard Butler. Oh, sorry, Josh. Oh, sorry. sorry, everyone. Hands back on buzzers. Couple of general questions to the break. A Gold Coast Council has blocked the building of a new what? It's Celia. a musk. Indeed, it is. Apple have just released a new tool to help users do what? It, they gave you the i i no you two album mm. and then you in your iTunes but you could delete it from your library and your purchase yep. history. They're the mm. first band ever to be in the negative on the iTunes charts. <laughs> <Yes. and that's laughs> gone very low. <laughs> Apple have discontinued what product? Nikki. Eye pants. <laughs> gone. I have to see them. Oh, that's that's smart smart. Are, no no no, this will be worth it, I swear. What are eye pants? They're virtual pants that <laughs> show uh, three inches of virtual bum <laughs> I'm afraid not, Nikki. And they, and they, what? It Snapchat's your own bottom. Yes. <laughs> it is in fact the. No. It is in fact the iPod Classic. Yeah. Oh. 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 Microsoft just paid 2.5 billion dollars <laughs> for what? Sam. A dinner for two at the Fat Duck. <laughs> Plus dessert. No, in fact, it was Minecraft. Why is this company in the news? Nick. They floated, and they're the biggest company in the world, I bigger believe. Bigger than they're Facebook, China. They're, Amazon. They're bigger than everything. What Absolutely they correct, Mickey. Mate, they're like, he's like eBay or something, isn't they it? Sell yeah, they sell iPads. They sell iPads? They're a Chinese well, they eBay. Might if they could. Absolutely correct, Mickey. Take a look at Samantha Armitage. I assume oh, this would be a man. Why? Well, I just wouldn't imagine a woman being so stupid. Who is she talking about? It Celia. was the, the, the Joan Rivers' doctor who was accused of taking a selfie while she, With, was, while under... she was unwell, indeed. Let's pause now for some abject apologies. I am deeply sorry. I misled people. Forgive me. I apologize. I hurt someone. I'm really sorry. What has the Thai Prime Minister apologised for? Josh. Well, he charged, uh, he was charging massages to the, uh, to the official credit card, but I don't know why everyone's <laughs> upset about it, because apparently the story is happy. <laughs> Massage happy ending joke we've ever done. <laughs> he has apologised for suggesting tourists in bikinis bring oh. violent attacks upon uh, themselves. He also apologised for all those Thai restaurants with a pun in the name. Oh, Typhoon. Oh. Oh. Typhoon, uh, Typhoon, Ty Time me up. <laughs> Time me kangaroo dance board. No. <laughs> After two years, who has just apologised to Yumi Steins and George Negus? Okay. Oh, oh, it's the, it's the, it's the uh, fair facts fair in facts. general. Papers have apologised indeed. Before. For when they they like misquoted them and when they when they made the gaffes about the soldier it was like last year and they went too hard on them and they're oh. like we're sorry we went too hard but it was years ago. Celia, you want to come over here? Yeah. And just <laughs> <laughs> That's what she knows about. Who said, "quote I owe America a global apology"? Josh. And on this one, that's uh, Sarah Palin. After not winning the 08 election. Right? We've got to take a break. Don't go anywhere. There's science, rapid recall, and so much more still to come. to try their hand with a little either-or action. Simple round, you each get one clue and two options. Mickey, Bring we'll it on. start with you, please. I want you to listen very carefully and no. tell me, home and away, 
or neighbours. I went to Paige's house because Paige wanted me there. It had nothing to do with Lauren. <laughs> I know that one. Oh, Mick. You got a 50-50, Mickey. <laughs> I'm going to go with neighbours. I've no idea. What are you doing to me, Tommy? <laughs> Mickey, I'm giving you 10 Bang. points because you got neighbours. <laughs> All right. Wow. Celia, Sunday night or 60 minutes? Huh? The plumber with a death wish. <laughs> That's Sunday night by a long shot. <laughs> No, it's not. It's no. 60 minutes. Oh. What's happened to 60 minutes since I've been gone? Things have gone down. <laughs> All right, Josh. Yep, yep, yep. The NRL footy show oh, or the AFL? Good question. Uh, you, you play the game to win a comp, don't you? You know, you, no one goes out there to lose, so we definitely have a lot of faith in each other. I, I reckon. Uh, I reckon that sounds like that sounds like uh, <laughs> league. <laughs> so I say footy show. No, which one though? <laughs> It sounded like NRL today. Absolutely yeah, correct. Yeah, well done, yeah, Josh. Yeah. yeah. All right. Ed. <laughs> yeah. What? Better homes and gardens or the living room? So with the addition of a wicker laundry hamper, I'm going to turn this into a designer lamp. That is no living rooms have got the the bloke who can't understand what he says, the hunky vet, uh, Amanda Keller, yes. and Friday who, night channel. Who 10. knows who else? Mm -hmm. Better homes and gardens. Dr. Harry, I'm assuming. He's buying time, Tommy. John yes. Buying time. <laughs> yes. So Stop. better homes and gardens, better homes and room. gardens. Is that your answer? Yes. <laughs> that is the question. All right, Sam. Big Brother or X Factor? Yeah. Good question. <laughs> Great one. Good question. Oh, jeez. Well. They're both terrific shows. Terrific. Uh, they're not on our, on our network, Sam, so... Oh, well, they're shit. <laughs> <laughs> Any time tonight, Sam, would be uh, useful? I'm drawing it out like Big Brother do. Clearly. Do they? Is that no. your answer? <laughs> uh, no, I'll go with the other. I'll go with the X Factor. Absolutely correct. Well done, oh. Sam. Oh. Hands back on buzzers and lab coats on. It's time for... So... Smarter people who play Scrabble or people who do crosswords? Josh, it's a trick question, Joe, because they're both equally lonely. Yes. <laughs> and equally smart, oh, correct, Josh. A new study shows that fat shaming causes what? Josh, comedy. Uh, <laughs> Texts, but as That's you've actually. clearly proved here. No, uh, Celia. Well, I'm assuming it weight gain. Indeed, quite correct. Researchers have discovered how King Richard III died. Wow. Celia. His head was smashed, it was hit a lot. Hacked away pieces of his scalp with rammed spikes and swords into his brain. Take a look. Oh. Actually, no, we don't have that. Oh. <laughs> we really good. Who's investigating this? CSI Stratford upon Avon? <laughs> 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 Mickey, they've identified King Richard IV as the prime suspect. Yes. <laughs> it's still an open investigation, That's Mick. Like That's all I can say. It's a cold case, Tommy. Yeah, it's a really cold case. It's a seriously cold case. Some artificial sweeteners have now been shown to cause what? Mick. Artificial fatness. <laughs> sort of, but oh, not quite. There's an interesting point. Uh, Ed. Uh, diabetes? Correct. Oh. Australia has seen a massive spike in what disease? Oh, oh. make me do it. Oh, good. <laughs> Sam. It's syphilis. Syphilis. And they're blaming Mick. I'm going to have to take that, mate. You oh, get yeah. used to it after Just a while. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you can actually it. manage it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, but does he deserve the 10 points yeah. for it? Yes. Uh, yes, Sam, I will pay that. What are we looking That's at here? <laughs> Sorry, Celia. Ed's got in. Ed. Ed. Do you want to make the announcement? Well, no, look, I, all I can say, I can't reach you from here, Tommy, so can you just swipe right for me? <laughs> That's my Tinder profile photo. Is that oh, nice? Uh, 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 That's what I said. It's the uh, new chess world champion. <laughs> my first wife, Tommy. Is that right? It's all coming out tonight. Why are you so disgusted at that? Ed, no, it's, to be fair, she wanted to make herself look like a sex doll, a live mm. sex doll. Yeah. And Indeed. she's done all right. 53,000 <laughs> grand later, a... You know what country she's from? America, surely. Russia. La Latvia. 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 But uh, she's put them on the map, both of them. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got enough there. Why are these Italian senators eating ice cream? It. Because it's Viagra flavour. <laughs> uh, Nick. You Having do. seen that, Clive Palmer's now thinking of running for the <laughs> Italian <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the amazing <laughs> fun of, of the country's yeah. PM who appeared on a magazine cover eating Whoa. ice cream. We've got Whoa. to take one last break when we return. <laughs> the winner is